you like videos like this one, um, please click below and join our Patreon group. We have a lot of how-to videos just like this and uh, about Royal's journey, among other things. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any awesome uh, videos that we post on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So it's about time for an Arroyo update. Um, this is the horse that was scared of things above him and behind him. Um, so as you saw, we've been doing a lot of ponying with him. Um, so I'm working him off another horse, touching him, rubbing him, uh, being above him, behind him on another horse. And uh, he's doing really good with that. Uh, it was great on the trail. Um, didn't seem to mind, doesn't mind the dogs running around him and things like that, which is awesome. Um, so what I'm doing here uh, is um, trying to teach him to side pass up to the mounting block. So that same thing, just anything where I can reinforce being above him and behind him um, and make him feel good about it. That's what I'm going to do. That's been quite a time, uh, quite a long time just sort of petting on him here and um, using positive reinforcement. I'm still feeding him in the pan, um, feeding him more and more by hand. But I found with this horse uh, that he's still, um, I feel safer feeding him in the pan because um, he's still pretty um, sensitive with his mouth where he just wants to like take take a big bite out of things. And I guess, you know, but like you guys know before that that's from, uh, he's got a lot of teeth coming in and caps falling off. And um, so his mouth is a little bit sensitive. So doesn't feel really good when I'm putting my hand up to his mouth. So um, I just feed him in the pan and he knows what that means that when that food drops in that pan. And so um, works great. And I mean, it. I think it also helps because it's I'm making a noise down there. So he gets a little uncomfortable here and I just ask him to come forward. I mean, you can see like he's, he's not comfortable with it. He's really, really stretched out, but he's trying. And uh, I'm just barely asking his head to be next to me while I'm up there. Uh, so this was like, I think maybe day two that I did this with him, um, this particular exercise. And so he's, I mean, he's trying really hard. He's trying to stand there and I am having some halter. I think right now, not any halter pressure, but I was having some halter pressure to kind of keep him there a little bit. And then that just got less and less and less. And this is just a lot of just like, just petting repetitive um, stuff and then there's the treat and then here I'm I'm gonna introduce the whip to him of course he's had a whip touched him before and he knows how to side pass and move his body on the ground already and so this was great that he's not being really reactive to that whip going across his back I'm really happy with that and I gave him a reward for that and so like he can just hear the food dropping in there and that's that's enough of positive reinforcement and then as a big reward, when he does something that has a really big try, I get down and completely walk away, and then he gets to eat his little jackpot that he earned. And so here, um, I just wanted him to kind of move forward uh, or even over, just some sort of movement, even though I have that whip on the other side of him. And so here, he just went the wrong way. So I just put the whip on the other side and, and tell him, you know, show him what the answer is, what I want. And of course, um, he's a sensitive horse, so he overdid it big time. <laughs> And then here, I'm just kind of asking him, hoping he'll move forward and over. Um, so I'm kind of asking him to move forward with the halter and with the whip here. So you can watch that. And that was good. And I'm going to ask him again. Oh, that was good. So I'm asking for a little bit more. I think I cut a section out because um, I wouldn't normally ask this much at the be beginning, but I, I had already done it. I think this is like sec his second session doing this. So wasn't completely foreign to him. I really would like him to move that hind end over so he didn't, so I'm gonna go ahead and show him. I had to sneeze, sorry. So I just showed him the answer there. And I had to do that a lot with him. I had to um, show him the answer a lot by going on the other side and asking him to move over. And then it just all of a sudden clicked in his head and you'll see that later on. So I'm asking him to come up forward. That was awesome. See, even just that little bit of movement, I'm like super happy with just that try. It's really, really good. Really good. That was awesome. So he kind of moved over. 
and he went back a little bit and that's okay we'll get there i mean he's he's also he's learning a new thing at the same time that he's you know has this fear of somebody being above and behind and if i were training this horse just by myself i'd probably stay at this this stage for a long time um but a sitter was riding this horse so um, I maybe work with him one or two days a week and then a sitter works with him the other three, three or four days a week. Uh, and he's riding him and everything and he's doing really well. Um, so he's, he's getting trained by both of us. Uh, but cause the sitter is really talented and he can sit things that I can't sit. So, um, if I were training him just by myself, I'd probably be at this stage a lot longer. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so here he got his little jackpot and I'm going to walk away and let him eat that. And I love that he's eating it because he's never, I mean, well, I think it's the second time he's seen this bright yellow mounting block. Um, and he's eating off of it and it's going to really bother him, which is great. Uh, so here is another day on another week. Um, and this is his progress with um, ground tying. And I don't even have a halter on him this time. I just, there's no halter. He's completely at liberty. He can move away if he wants to. And he's doing awesome. He knows he's supposed to stand there. And I did all of this with just this kind of positive reinforcement. Um, you can see he's much more relaxed. And I'm just working up to walking all the way around him while he stays ground tied there. So this horse has come a long, long way. All of you that have been following along from the very first time I tried to do this with him um, to now he's doing it at Liberty, which is fantastic. I was really happy with him there. It is really, really cold. I have like... 300 layers of clothes on it's so cold he seems to be just fine and fluffy though and this was great I'm super proud of him because he got a little nervous when I did this side and he spooks and um see I'm same thing I'm working it up I'm not just gonna just walk right around him and he hadn't even really been worked he's just the start of our session and I like this because he, he spooked a little bit right there and he moved just one step away but he he stayed on his spot which was great. He he was able to control himself, and that's really what we're after. Like, it's okay if they spook, and he spooked again there, but he's, you know, staying ground tied, which was the kind of the whole goal. So now I'm going to walk around again and just give him a chance to stand still, and he's even so relaxed that he's willing to eat with me walking behind him, which is huge for this horse. So even being tied up and being groomed and things like that now, he'll stand um, and not move and not be bothered by things behind him. Um, so here I put a halter on him, same day, I'm working on our um, side pass up to the mounting block. And you can see he's like, oh boy, she got up there pretty high. He's so funny. He's really a sweet, sweet horse and just super smart and so much try. That Look how fa how fast he just picked that up. I think it's only like the third or fourth session I've done this. And he's like, oh, I moved my little butt over. And same thing, I'm just, but I put it in his little pan. It's so good. I mean, he's still nervous. He's got his head up high because, you know, I'm up there high. And I'm rubbing on him and stuff. And then what I do here is um, I go ahead and I start working on the head down cue up here while I'm standing up on this mounting block. He does it pretty good on the ground and he maintains his head at a pretty level on the ground even when you're touching him above. Um, but with me standing up there, that's a whole new thing. So I'm working on asking him to drop his head um, with a little pressure on the halter and the pressure behind on his pole. And he's like, you can tell he's nervous, but he's trying. He knows what it means. Um, also working on a lot of massage around his crest um, and his pole area, um, which is helping a lot to releasing a lot of that tension. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and do it without the halter pressure, just with the pole pressure and see what he does. And all I'm asking him to do is just kind of soften. And eventually I'd like to use this as a cue, as a kind of a relaxed cue, but you know, we'll get there. And that was nice. He tried and dropped his head just a little bit. And I like that he's staying there next to me. I'm on that mounting block. That was really nice. And eventually he'll he'll put it down and he'll keep it there without feeling the need to kind of pop back up. I 
my kids are watching a movie, so hopefully you guys don't hear that in the background. There we go. That was really nice. Big try. Of course, he popped back up, and eventually it'll just stay down. And then I'm just going to walk away so he can have his little jackpot that he earned. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Adorio's little update. Um, we, his new owner is going to keep him with us through the end of February, so we'll have more videos of him. Bye.